This is Hampshire Scientific Service and we have a range of technology that allows us to carry out safety tests and toys for consumers in Hampshire. This is a small part cylinder which is meant to represent the throat of a, a child under three. And so the, the test, if something would actually pose a choking hazard, is to see if it fits in there. These are strong magnets, they fit in there, you can't see them above it, so that would be deemed to be a choking hazard. Also with the button cells, again, because they fit in there, they're easy to swallow. This is an indication of what happens if you swallow a battery. You can see the battery's inside, wrapped around the ham. It's perforated through, and then inside, it's just got the holes where it's gone through. When looking at um, toys with button cells, the parents should look at the security of the battery compartment. So they should either be secured with a screw or they should take multiple movements to be able to get access to the batteries. What we've got here is a small, powerful magnet. It fits in a small part of the cylinder, so there's a potential for a child to swallow it. What this equipment does here is measure the strength of the magnet. And if it's of a very high strength, it will fail the standard. This is a potential, a potential risk if the child swallows it it could cause a perforation inside the stomach or intestine. Your intestines are very, very thin, thin layers, and you can see that it's rubbing over, the, over a couple of sheets of paper. So inside your stomach or intestine, it'll be rubbing, causes a perforation and internal bleeding. The, this equipment is a tensile test, which is used to test, uh, to see whether any parts come away from the toy. In this case, we're testing an eye to see whether when the child pulls on it, it might detach. Uh, and if it does detach, whether it might fit in a small part cylinder and become a choking hazard. Force is applied against the eye and just pulls up against it just to see whether it might detach. What we've got here is a soft teddy bear and we're going to see whether it ignites and how quickly that flame might spread through the teddy bear. In this case the toy has not ignited so it's safe for use. So this is the equipment we use to see whether costumes and play tents are flammable and are dangerous. You can't ban everything because kids are attracted to everything and anything, but things which are intended for them, then those are the ones which need to have to be tested and be safe. Mm -hmm.